Uh, this is a tough fi a fire to fight, no question about it. As firefighters battle the flames, they're also having to deal with Big Sur's rugged terrain, and along with it, perhaps something you haven't thought about, but if you've lived here long enough, poison oak. It is affecting fire crews in big numbers, so much so that medics are actually running out of medication. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen continues our team coverage. Swollen eyes, blistered arms, extreme itching. Itchiness, super uncomfortable. It's all over my body. Uh, it's kind of hard to walk. Uh, it's kind of rubbing all over my thighs, all over my arms. Is it just everywhere? Uh, tip to toe. Poison Oak. It's sidelining firefighters faster than this base camp doctor has seen in four years of working at fire camps. That supply they're supposed to last like for two weeks went uh, went away. We got, uh, you know, used it in the first day. Well, so many have had to be treated that the replacement supply of the drug was also gone in just a day. Some of them we had to uh, turn them because we didn't have, uh, we ran out of the supplies. And uh, one we uh, uh, call prescription into the pharmacy, local pharmacy here. For extreme cases, firefighters will have to go to the ER or doctors on duty until more supplies come in. They don't have those right now, so they're wait we have to wait until tomorrow to get those. That wait isn't easy with swollen eyes and itchy bodies. This privately contracted crew from Oregon has been building fire line by hand and fighting back that poison oak. We were punching line up a hill and it was swimming in it. It was tall and thick. It's all over the ground. It's pretty much tied in everywhere. And uh, they're going to lay me off for two days, actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm not able to work for another two days, get myself back together, get cleaned up, rest up. And try to get the Sobranis fire under control before the Big Sur wilderness takes control of them. In Toro Park, Brittany Nielsen, KSBW Action News 8.